לבוב אמור! יאללההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההה
from the beginning, it is of our knowledge that we are made in the image and likeness of a zombie. Yes, but where does this resemblance reside? We are similar to a zombie because we have three natures that form only one being. Just as we know that a zombie is also a triune being, his father represented by the son and the Holy Spirit. Spirit forming one in Zami, Mosi. Yeah, like, you're not feeling your family, even though we are far from one another, but we are connected. Let us feel you. Luvu Vamu. The first point family is bringing. And is proving to us that we were created as Zambe. The other version of the Bible that describes that we have the same nature as Tatan Zambe. So we have three natures that is connected, combined to make one. And Zambe and Pungo Tulendo as well, family. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. They are all in one. So we, as a human being, we carry the same nature as Moshi. Moshi in Kikongo means one, unique. So the human being actually carries the same nature as Nzambe Ampungu Tulendo. This three is spiritual dimension in us so in point number two family we will understand it more deep please mama matuzol okay sorry about that we have body soul and spirit the soul possesses the mind, the faculties of the body, the will and emotions, and the spirit persuades the mind to act. That is the soul mind is rebuked by the spirit. The spirit is like that moral basis that teaches us to do good. Read Matthew 26, 41. In a clear and simple example, we can observe the following. The body is like the TV. The soul is like the remote control command. And the spirit is like the antenna and energy that allows the TV to come to life and be connected from above, the highest. And the spirit returns to a zombie when a person dies. Ecclesiastes 12, 7. Yala. 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 So family, this Yala. three nature that we're trying to describe earlier on in point one, it is body, soul, and the spirit. It is what family? I cannot body. hear you. Body, soul, soul, and spirit. Body, soul, and spirit. Body. And, spirit. and our body, presentation. Soul, spirit. It's very clear, family. Please write it down. That the soul possesses the mind. Please write it down. The soul is so connected with the mind. It is the soul which produces emotion and feeling in us. And the spirit is just that one that gives us instruction for us to do good or bad. It leads us to this. And the body, it is what covers everything, family. But I would like to take you very quickly in the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 41. If you have your Bible, just follow it. It's very deep what Isaiah was teaching his disciple in this verse, family. Matthew 26, verse 41. It says, keep watch and pray. So that you will not give 
interpretation. Sorry, for the spirit is willing, but the body is weak. You see, the, the spirit is there, always ready to give instruction for us to do good and to move and to help us. But unfortunately, the body is weak due to what we see every single day in the world. This chapter was there to make you understand that our three dimension, the spirit leads us. And then there is a great example here. A TV gives us a very quick explanation how the body, soul, and mind is, is made of. So a TV is, is like the body, and the soul is like the remote. Without the remote family, you are not able to change the, the, the channel to increase and reduce a volume. That is your feeling. That is your emotion. But all these things will not going to be possible for you to see the movie without a signal. This signal family comes from an antenna. An antenna will produce electricity which will help you for you to power your tv again this antenna is the spirit so in this very quick explanation film we will understand this phenomenon is only possible when they are all connected if you have no antenna no image will be produced if you have no remote, you're not going to be able to change. So that unique stuff we call in Kikongo as Moshi. One. They are three in one. And we're going to go very quickly in the book of uh, Ecclesiastes family. Uh, chapter 12, verse 7. If you have a Bible, please follow me in this uh, reading. Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 7 says, For the dust will return to earth, and the spirit will return to Nzambe who gave it. Luvuva moon! Yala! 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 So as the antenna is the energy that allows the TV to come to life and be connected above with the Most High, and the spirit re returns to Nzambe when the person dies. That is what we read in this book of Ecclesiastes family, chapter 12, verse 7. It confirms to us that our life is only a meaning or a purpose when the living spirit or the Mwanda Velala is amponance, active. Our body is the meaning, as the purpose, as an instrument of Tata Nzambe. Yala. Yala. I will say to them, our life is the meaning and the purpose when the living spirit of Nzambe and Pungo Tulendo is active in our body, then our body represents the instrument of Nzambe and Pungu to land. Luvuva moon! Yeah! Thank you, Benito. Hallelujah. Matano Masaka, Brat Samba. Well, family, I hope that we pay close attention, you know, to these, uh, words Prat Shamba was speaking to us for us to understand the spiritual nature of a human being. The most high is three in one, human being is three in one. That's why we're made under his likeness and image. Please pay attention to this topic. Astral projection, is it right or wrong? Family, this is something very important we're discussing with you. Why? To equip you, because we know on the way, maybe in the future, 
you can come across with this kind of information, you know? And if you are not prepared, it is very easy for you to be misled or mislead. Very easy. Astral projection, you know, is something that, you know, uh, has been taught, you know, out there. People have been teaching this, you know. Even the science speak also about this. And they've been teaching people how to how to how to perform it this act astral projection and the question is what is astral projection before we say if it is wrong or right let us first define and understand what is it what is it Amatola, can you please go down matondo masaka all right. Yes, Mama Tola, can you please go? Point three. For us to understand what is this. Astral projection. Astral projection is a term used in esotericism to describe an intentional out of body experience. Wait, Mama Tola. To describe what? State, an intentional out of body experience. Mm -hmm. Yes. That assumes the, the existence of a subtle body called an astral body or a body of light through which consciousness can function separately from the physical body and travel throughout the astral plane. Wow. Mm -hmm. Point four, Amazola. Projection is when a soul leaves the body while you are still alive and not just when a person dies. Astral projection projecting is the technique Wait one moment, Zola. Sorry, just a second, please. I just talk a little bit about point three and four. Family, did you understand the meaning of astral projection? Say something, please. Yes. 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 When you go outside, you will find sometimes people speaking about that, and in churches. Or in religion, they don't, they, you know, in religion they speak. In Hinduism, you know, those spiritual religion, like Hinduism, you know, that practice a lot of spirituality, they know a lot about this stuff. But in, you know, in uh, Christianity, they speak as well, but not that much, right? Uh, not that much. If you ask many people, they don't even know uh, this. I remember when I was a child, you know, not a child, when I was growing up, even I didn't know it. I knew this, but the meaning, it was different, <laughs> you know, <laughs> was different. Astral projection was, was the ability to fly, you know, the, the mean, I didn't know this technical term. But this is how this, you know, if I can say the, 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 the scholars define astral projection. As... An intentional, you see, intentional out of body experience. And this is possible, eh? This is possible. It is possible for your, you know, and they call it the body of light. It is the intentional out, out of body experience that assumes the existence of a subtle body called astral body or body of light. In other words, you know, they, they are trying to define what the Bible has already defined. Because if you see, if you go to, you know, to the uh, New Testament, Paul spoke, he speaks about the spiritual body and the physical body. Do you remember that family? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. You know, he speaks yes. about the physical body and the spiritual body. In other words, this spiritual body that Paul, that the scripture speaks about, is what the science or what the scholars call 
astral body or body of light. That is the true you. The, the astral body or the body of light or the spiritual light, as that and some call it, is the true is the is the true you. That is the person we are speaking to. You. Touch your body, family. You can touch your body. Touch your body. You know, touch yourself. This is not you. This is not you. This is your house. This is your body. You is the one I'm talking to. You are inside this body. And once you out, this body is dead. It's brought to somebody read in the Ecclesiastes 12.7. <clears throat> And, you know, it is possible for you to leave your body. It is possible. It is possible for you to leave your body and stand beside your body and look to your body. It is possible. It is real. Very real. And there are many people have been practicing that. But in abnormal use. They are abnormally practicing this kind of practice and they do not know the consequences of that. That's the main focus. We are speaking about this family. When you leave your body, you know, when you, when you leave your body, you can travel around. You can fly, you know, a thousand, you can fly like a thousand miles or 10,000 miles within a second. The question is, is that good to leave your body in the bed and, you know, traveling, you know, around the world in the spiritual realm? The question is, is that good? All right, or, or, or wrong. That's wrong. Leaving your house unattended. <laughs> what on massacre, my brother? Is it good or wrong? That's the conversation, and we'll understand. Family, I know people will come to you in the future talking to you about this. You know, those, you know, if I can say who call themselves deep. In spirituality. Because, you know, when they come across with this kind of experience, they think the fact that they leave their body and they travel somewhere, they are very spiritual. But they do not know the truth behind that kind of, this kind of practice. Mawad Zola, point five. Astral projecting is the technique that the witches and wizards usually use to cause accidents. The person gets out of his body very quickly and causes accidents, usually car accidents, or harms others in many other ways, and then comes quickly back to his body before someone comes and approaches him or her. Otherwise, the person falls dead. For that reason, the person needs to stay focused and have a very high level of sorcery. This is by getting power from the blood of the people they kill or steal from earth to the evil underground kingdom. Hallelujah. Yala. 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 We have to understand this family. This is a very important information. You know, this technique, astral projection, is the techniques, the witches, you know. That's why maybe, you know, you know that's why maybe we don't hear that awfully, you know, the pastors or the elders speaking about this. That's why maybe. Because the zombie, you know, this, this, this spiritual secret is not to be abused or to use abnormally. It is not. It is not. 
but the witches. The moment they discover that, the moment Kadyampemba reveal them that, that's the technique they use as a projection. You know, May, you know, if I can say 99.9% .9 of the accident you see on the road is caused by witches, and we are not away most of the time. Most of the time, family, they are the one who cause accident most of the time. Especially when we are not ready spiritually, especially when we are in sin. Oh, that is a huge opportunity for them to kill. When people are in sin. I understand now, you know, every time we have a trip in the congregation, the instruction from the Bwanda is we have to fast before we organize a trip. Fast, you know, pray and keep yourself as, you know, holy as much as you can. Holy, holy, holy. Why? Because they know that the enemy is there on the way. They throw, you know, spiritual, spiritual uh, landmine in the road to cause accident. Another way, you know, sometimes, you know, they are uh, across the road, just standing, or they are in their car, for example. The one that like to do this is those who work for Kadia Pemba, those who are there for worshippers. You know, many people in the world, witches. The person is in the car, the witch or the wizard is inside the car. He astral projection, he leaves the body inside the car and goes very quick, you know, uh, how can I say? Uh, he stab the the the, the tire. Mamozola, is it stab? Yes. It, yeah, the person stabs the, the 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 tire of the car and come back comes back to the body very quick. Or sometimes you know, they leave their body, they go and they sit on the lap of the driver and they just you know they just uh, mess up the driving that's why most of the drivers some, sometimes you're driving and you see people say i don't know how you know i caused this accident i was driving and out of nowhere i just blank out you know or i just something you know they even they can't even explain from family are we together In -get -a. In -get -a. Yeah. Yes, the drivers, they try to explain what was going on, but this is what the witches do. They leave their body, they sit on the lap, and they, you know, they interrupt the, the driving. This is what they do to cause accident. And sometimes... They cause two kinds, you know. I mean, <laughs> this world is a spiritual family. This world is a spiritual. And this is the same techniques they use when you are arguing with someone. Those who, you know, who serve the devil. For many times, they can explain to you that very quick, very well. That is the same techniques they use when you are arguing with somebody. The moment a, we, a witch or wizard, you know, see discussion, two people discussing or arguing, <laughs> that's a huge opportunity for them to act. They leave their body and they go and they enter the other person and they start to fight. Remember, I'm not speaking about demon. I'm speaking about people who sold they are sold to the devil or even people who work for the devil just because they want or because they were you know they received that uh they were they received that uh, witchcraft while they were still kid knowing or unknowingly yes mama tola point six Satan 
also gives power to the devil worshipers to astral projection. In the kingdom of darkness, people are on their own. That is why they have to kill many people and cause many accidents to kill people in order to get more power. No blood shedding, no power. Because the devil does not protect his own. You are by yourself. Whereas in our kingdom of Nzambi, more prayer, more power. Le Yala. 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 Yes. Yala. Yala. That's another reality, family, from the kingdom of darkness as well. You know, we just added this information for you to be aware. We don't have to do, touch a lot on that. But the truth is, Satan, you know, remember he was once an angel. He was once an angel. And he was not a normal angel. He was anointed cherub. Not a, not a cherub, anointed cherub. Satan knows a lot. He knows a lot of techniques on how to operate. And one of the great techniques, you know, he has been, you know, giving to his uh, followers is the ability to astral projection. This is like a move, but this is real family. This is like a move. You are sitting with a person, you know, let me ask you this. Have you never seen like, but I'm not saying this person is a witch, right? Have you seen like, sometimes you are talking to a person you are speaking, speaking, speaking by the person. It seems like the person is not there. And the moment you touch, hey, are you listening to me? The person is like, oh, yeah, 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 yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, you know. I'm not saying those person, you know, that sometimes experience that, you know, uh, they are they belong to the to the world of Kadian Pemba, no. But the, 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 the experience is similar. The experience is similar. When a person has to project, especially those wicked ones, that is that is how they st they they stay. They are briefing. They are here, but they are not here. They are here, but they are not here. And that is how most of the time they cause accident. We are not saying, you know, that. Having out of bad experience is demonic. No, we're not saying that. Because we'll see in the scripture also many people who had this kind of a, a experience. But we are saying that that techniques, the ones who use the most, are those who serve the kingdom of darkness. And those who serve the kingdom of light, the kingdom of, of Tatan Zambi. They also experience astral projection, but not intentionally. That happen naturally, according to Tatan Zambi, will. Some, they experience that, you know, while they were a child. I know many people, they experience this, you know, even now they experience, but it started while they were still a child, children, a child. Naturally, you know, they don't, they don't force nothing. But the problem nowadays, you know, we see sometimes people force that. Why? Because they want to see. They want to see. Nobody called them. Tatanzami didn't call them. The Moana didn't call them. You know, Messiah didn't call them. You know, intentionally, due to some step, due to some steps, they learn from the internet. You know, because if you go on YouTube and click, you know, and search how to ask a projection, you will find many steps. And by following those steps, that can happen in your, in your life. But the, the question is, what is the purpose for your trip to the spiritual realm? Where are you going? What is the intention behind that? Who called you to go to the spiritual realm? Who? So, Brad Samba will tell us that, the purpose. 
objective of astral projection. Yep, Sam. Le veau va mon. Yala. Yala. Attend the massacre. Yala. So, family, today's uh, teaching is very serious. Zambe wants to bring you knowledge. And the word of Zambe says, you shall know the truth, and the truth will do what, family? Make you free. It will make you free. So the intention of us coming out and share it to you, is not to entertain you, but is to set you free and to load you with the knowledge, with the truth. And true family, it is Nzambe and Pungu Tolendo. Punk Benike just described it very powerfully about the definition and what is indeed astral projection. So now, the question that is still bothering our minds is what is the purpose of us doing that? And why we should do that? So that this is the second uh, topic that we like to bring it to you: purpose and all, all objective of astral projection. Why it is for my own good, or it is to praise Zambian Pungu to land. Those who were last Sunday, they saw that there is only two forces: family, good or bad, good spirit. If a spirit, yes or no, it is for Zambi or for Kajian Pemba. So when we access this spiritual power, it is for Zambi or for Kajian Pemba. I'd like to ask uh, our brother Nikki, if you don't mind, please, just to, I'm um, uh, Matzola, just to scroll a little bit. Yes, Matondo Masaka. Brother Nick, can you just uh, read for us the the topic there, purpose, just the topic. Are uh, you still on unmute, Brother Nick? <clears throat> yes. Purpose, objective of astral projection, revelation, revelation four. Um, one and two. <clears throat> Astral projection must be a spirit-led experience, not a self-led cardinal experience. Um, Corinthians 12, 1 and 4. Um, your body is the veil that protects you from many demonic expositions. And the moment you live your body, you love your body, you, your soul, and your body get exposed to spiritual danger and demonic. I can't, I can't see from there. Sorry. Okay. Um, demonic realm. You literally leave your spiritual door open for the demonic spirits, and it gets easier for them to occupy occupy your house, body, meaning your body. The truth is that you make your body a portal for demonic activities, which is true. Judas yeah. 1 9. Yala. 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 The purpose of that is Fangi Benika said, astral projection, it is not good, it is not evil, it will depend how you're gonna use that. And we will bring to you a, a few Bible a scripture to show you that this is from Zambia and Pungu to Lendo. Uh, Book of Revelation, if you have your Bible, please just follow me. Book of Revelation, family. Chapter 4, uh, it's verse 1, 2, 2, says, I'm reading from a New Living Translation. Then I looked at, I saw the door standing open in heaven. And the same voice I had heard before spoke to me like a trumpet blast. 
Then the voice said, Come up here, and I will show you what must happen after this. Please, family, pay attention there. The voice said, Come up here. I will show you what you must what must happen after this. Verse 2. And instantly I was in the spirit. I saw the throne and the heaven, someone sitting on it. We are speaking about John. At this time, family, John was in Ireland, Patham's Island, where he was working as a slave. At the same time, he was spreading or sharing the word of Isaiah Kong. And the spirit came upon him and he took him. He left his body, he went in the spirit, and he saw what was in heaven. Here we find the purpose of astral projection. It is when Zambian Pungu Tulendo himself come down, give you the permission for you to see what others cannot see. Verse 2 says that he, I was in the spirit, I saw a throne in heaven, someone sitting on it. But we see something different. Many people use this spiritual stuff for their own good. But we should always wait for Zambian Pungo Tulendo give us the permission for us to move in the spirit. Let me just uh, read to you very uh, another great definition of astral projection. It is trying to project your consciousness beyond this spiritual dimension to a spiritual dimension, consciousness family. And we spoke about that the, uh, the, the soul possesses the mind. So in this astral projection, it is your soul which leaves the body. It either Zambia is calling you for a, a specific purpose, for you to see something, for him to do something. Or you yourself is trying to, to force it. You see, family? When you do it by your own will, Zambia is not there. But when you wait, it comes naturally. As Paul, as, sorry, John was sitting there, and then the one that came down and then took him, said, Come up. You see, family, the one that took him. So here the purpose that we would like to bring to you. We have to submit ourselves always before Zambian Pungu. To lend, wait on him. Because spiritual things, we cannot access them by our own ways. But according to, Zam to Tatan Zambe, ways. Luvuva moon. Luvuva moon. Yala. 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 Point seven family say astral projection must be a spiritual led experience. Must be what family? Experience. Experience. We are going very slow because we would like everybody to understand and to put it into practice, family. It must be a spiritual-led experience, not other way around, like a self carnal experience. No, family. Down there, we're, go we're going to speak about the danger when somebody tries to do it by their own will. But we are bringing to you that it has to be a spiritual-led experience when the Mwanda Velela, he is the one who moves you, who gives you that permission. So we're going to go now very deep to see as well something that happens to Paul. But this time, I would like to invite anybody who will have a Bible for 2 Corinthians chapter 12, uh, from verse 1 to 4. 
anybody who have a Bible, please very quickly. It is not expedient for me, doubtless, to glory. I will come to visions and revelations of the infumo. I know a man in Christ about 14 years ago, whether in the body, I cannot tell, or whether out of the body, I cannot tell. And Zami know such a one was caught up to the third heaven. And I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell. Nzami knows how that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words, which it is not lawful for a man to utter. Paul. It is sharing to us some very spiritual and deep thing that ha happened. Paul, they said, I know a man. But this man, actually, family, he wasn't, Paul was very humble that he wasn't, he didn't want to say it was me. <laughs> but was himself, family. That Nzambian Pungo Tulendo, took him until to the third heaven. My, my version said, these boosting will do not good. You see? Mm. Look how it started saying to him, this is not good. Even though Zambi is the one who took him there, but I say, this is not good. <laughs> but this is very heavy. Mm. It makes you to be afraid. You living your natural self environment to go to an, another spiritual dimension. He continues to say, must, but I must go on. I will re really gently tell about vision and revelation from the Lord. I was called up to the third heaven 14 years ago this version here he described that it was himself but mama Matzola version brings that i, I know he said i knew a man but this man was himself family either i was in the body or out of the body that's where we have to bring astral projection film either i was in the body outside of the body this is astral projection what does paul wanted us to know when he say that he's saying that we can move either in, in the body or outside of the body on zambe nothing is impossible when he wants to talk to you he can come to you straight when you just want, as Bangi Benika said, your, your, your spiritual person, you're going to take it and for you to go and talk to him. So he said, either I was in the body or outside of the body, I don't know. Only Nzambe knows. <laughs> yes, only Nzambe knows. Either I was in the body or outside of the body. He continues saying that, family. But I do know that I was called up to the paradise and I heard things so outstanding. They cannot be expressed in words, things no human is allowed to tell. This brings to us something very different. When you try to do it by yourself, not according to Nzambi and Pungo to land. Paul here is saying, when you do that, when Zambi takes you to that, you will see things, you will hear things that some of them you cannot tell. It has to be private because you are discovering a spiritual secret. Now, guys, 
someone is trying to do it by their own purpose, by their own will. You see, family? But Paul here gives us this experience that this has to be a spiritual-led experience, not a carnal, not the flesh, nothing at all. We have to wait patiently on Tata Nzambe. Two persons, John and Paul. Your body is the veil that protects you from many demon expositions. And the moment you leave your body, your soul, and your body get exposed, family, to a spiritual danger from the, the demonic realm. You literally leave your spiritual door open for demonic spirits to get easier for them to, for their activity to occupy your body. The truth is that your body is a portal for demonic activity. Family, we are trying to say, when you do it by your own will, willingly you end up opening a, a spiritual door you went you left your body what did you leave there kajan <laughs> pemba now will come and take control of that when you come back now will be a fight two beings living in your in your own body. You see, family. So that's what we are trying to transmit to you. When you do it by your own self, by willingly, nobody in Zambia didn't, didn't give you the access, a permission, you open this a spiritual door and you let Kadian Pemba now to start controlling it. To start taking over it. And book of Judah, chapter 1, verse 9, family, says that when Moses died, Michael Angel had to come down to protect Moses' body. The question that will come, why? He was a dead person. Why Michael, the great angel, will come down just to fight with Kadian Pemba to protect his body. Because in the body is where the spirit lives, family. Kadian Pemba wants it to take over uh, that, that body to start doing his evil stuff. So when you leave your body, Kadian Pemba will go and take over. Banzambe in his mighty grace, he sent the angels to protect Moses, even though he was dead. So when you do astral projection according to Tata Zambe will, Zambe will always protect you. Zambe will always send his angels to guard you, to watch over you. Because our body family can be seen as a shield as a shield that Zambe uses. As an, as an instrument to communicate with one another. That's why he will always protect you. Yalla. 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 Are we together, family? Yes. Yes, we are. We are together. Yes, Pangi. Benik. Thank you.